Praise Yah, Jesus Christ is Lord. Yahusha, Yahua, the Holy Spirit, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the Creator of all of us that that we worship, the Holy, the Holiest, you know, the most merciful, uh, the person that has granted us grace forgiveness of our sins died died on the cross for our sins so we could could we could spend eternity with him in paradise in heaven all of that suffering endured for us who are not worthy not worthy at all you know but the the, the Lord Jesus Yahusha is so merciful so merciful <sighs> that they that he went through all that suffering the heavenly father Yahweh sent his son to go through all that suffering for us the great deception the great deception is very real it is happening around us they will have people that are uh, literally put in place in positions of power to deceive the masses to deceive the people that are easily influenced the people that are easily convinced right the greatest trick that the devil ever pulled was uh proving that he doesn't exist people making people believe that he doesn't exist but he see he exists and the uh, people like us that has the eyes to have the eyes to see it it's clear as day that they're just doing their best to deceive us right they're trying to deceive people that aren't that are not are not are that aren't as in tune in their spirituality in their relationship with God as we are in the with their in their relationship with Jesus as we are and these are the people that are easily deceived easily confused former the former actor celebrity politician Arnold Schwarzenegger uh we we know him. He's very iconic. He I'm sure he's been a part of many a part of many people's childhoods. Uh, hasta la vista. Uh, I'll be back from the Terminator movies. I enjoyed those movies. You know, growing up, I remember watching those back in the day, and quoting the lines. Very iconic person, right? Super iconic. All of a sudden, coming out and saying he doesn't believe there's a heaven or paradise. We won't meet the fa uh, our family members that gave their life to Christ in heaven. We won't meet them, and anybody else that anyone that believes otherwise is a blank liar. Blank because you know curse word right there, right? It's all in my, in my opinion. Why now? Why he? Why is he saying that now? It's all a deception. There, there, there are people in these positions, in these places, in the top, in this. You know, celebrity status, the, 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 you know, positions of power that everyone looks up to them. Everyone is always keeping an eye on them and always are interested in what they say and follow along with what they sh what with what they say. Especially the masses, you know, that are easily manipulated. When they hear that, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, he's so right. I'm an atheist. I don't believe any of that. I don't think there's a god. I don't think there's gonna be an afterlife. That's just." BS that is just some you know bull right it's all a deception guys we got a quick video that we'll check out and then I'll check I'll show you guys a verse and a, and a bit more of the article but uh again it's all a deception they're just doing their best to turn as many people as possible away from be believing in the Lord Jesus accepting the Lord Jesus into their hearts as the Lord and as, as their Lord and Savior and uh, you know trying to do their best to con confuse manipulate and turn as many people away from as possible so they could end up on the on the adversary side without them even noticing noticing it Arnold Schwarzenegger is giving his own meaning to heaven and death 
During an in-depth conversation with Danny DeVito for Interview Magazine, Schwarzenegger was asked, what's in the future for us? The actor replied that the question reminded him of the time Howard Stern asked him what happens to us when we die. Look at him, man. Huge celebrity. Everybody knows him. Everybody loves him, man. He was a huge part of a lot of people's childhood, childhoods, right? Very iconic movies. The Terminator movies are classic movies, you know? Lines that will never be forgotten as far as, like, film and Hollywood and stuff like that. Just deceiving, deceiving the masses to turn away from Jesus, turn away from God. He recalled that he said at the time, nothing, you're six feet under. Anyone that tells you something else is a bleeping liar. He added that he had said that while he is no expert in the quotes. Hear that, guys? Oh, anyone that tells you something else said at the time, nothing, you're six feet under. Anyone that tells you something else is a bleeping liar. He added that he had said that while he is no expert in the quote, spiritual stuff. Nothing, nothing after we pass away, huh? The world, <laughs> oh man. The world was created in such a divine way. Everything made perfect. Everything made uh, finely crafted by the Lord. We see there's so much energy that you could feel. There's so much goodness as well as negative that you could feel. Just interacting with people on in the day to day, just going about your day to day lives. And you think there's nothing, there's not going to be anything after we pass away. Spiritual stuff and what happens next to the soul. He knows that the body we see each other in now, we will never see each other in again. The former bodybuilder shared that death is a topic he feels uncomfortable with, but noted that heaven, in his mind, is a fantasy. He noted that it sounds good when people talk about seeing other people again in heaven, but for Schwarzenegger, we won't see each other again. Heaven is a fantasy. Heaven is a fantasy. Blatantly deceiving. Showing that he has, you know, no belief in the Father, that he was created by the Heavenly Father. No belief in Yah. No belief that he could be saved. He also revealed that in the last 20 or so years, he has lost 15 friends from within the bodybuilding industry. So he has given a new definition to heaven, which is for him a place where he puts a person who was dear to him and a spot in his head. He compared the sentiment to a front row where all of your friends are and how you always have a good feeling when you think of them. The Again, us as humans, man, trying to, trying to always be gods ourselves and worshiping ourselves so much ego so much ego right it's always a consistent thing wanting to be gods ourselves and not realizing there's a god that created us the way he he made us made us you know in his own image right that we should be worshiping. We should be on our knees right now. Thanking him for us even existing right now. My uh, friends, we should be on our knees. Thanking him consistently for even giving us this experience that we have. And being able to choose the lifestyle that we could choose. Because we have free will like Arnold does. He has free will to make these decisions for himself, right? But the most of us, but most of us realize, wow, he created all of these things so amazingly. We can't even fathom or comprehend what it will be like when the time comes where the Lord returns and we finally get to meet our Savior, Jesus the Heavenly Father. We can't comprehend that. I hate when people 
uh, well not hate is a strong word. I dislike when pe- us as humans think we could comprehend the Lord. <laughs> you can't comprehend these things. It's beyond. It's beyond our comprehension. The former California governor is expected to get candid about his life's trials and tribulations in a new three-part documentary, Arnold. People will remember my successes, and they will also remember those failures. The new doc begins streaming Wednesday on Netflix. Too much things are, too much things are like divine for there just to be, okay, you live this life, you die, and then that's it. You don't, no more existence, there's no memories, there's no consciousness, there's nothing. It's just, you live this life, you die, that's it. Over. I, I can't, I can't fathom that. I really can't. Not with everything I've been through in my life. Not with everything I've seen and, and uh, you know, that has happened. Team Jesus put a tweet out. Matthew 10, Matthew chapter 10, verse 14 to 15. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Truly, I tell you, it will be more bearable for Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. Right here's the full article. Heaven is a fantasy. Anyone that tells you something else is a bleep liar. Spoken to Danny DeVito. What's in the future for us? It reminds me of Howard Stone's question to tell to me. Tell me, Governor, what happens to us when we die? I said, nothing. You're six feet under. Anyone that tells you something else is a bleeping liar. I said, we don't know what happens with the soul and all the spiritual stuff that I'm not an expert in. But I know that the body as we see each other now, we will, we will never see each other again like that. The Predator star admitted that speaking about death makes him uncomfortable. You know, and this is the thing, right? When you start to get older in age, you start to get up in age, and you know, like, time, the timer is ticking. The timer is ticking. These are the thoughts you start to have, right? You know, Danny DeVito, very popular actor, like, insanely popular actor. And they're, you know, they're getting up in age, right? Because uh, eventually, one thing that is guaranteed for all of us, you know, is that we'll pass away eventually, you know. Could be now, it could be years in the future. Some people live very great lives, right? And, you know, uh, some people live very healthy lives, right? And then pass away peacefully. You know, some people it's instant. So, you know, Danny DeVito probably was, probably is getting, like, since he's getting up in those age those ages because he's uh arnold schwarzenegger is 75 danny devito is 78 so it's you know it's getting closer to those ages where you know they they eventually would pass away right not wishing that's not wishing anyone passes away but like coming up to those ages like you're getting much closer so so uh those are the thoughts that you'd have right and they have more than enough time to get right with the Lord Jesus. They have more than enough time to do that. But it's all pride. It's all ego. It's all pride. It's all ego. Especially after being a celebrity for all them years of your life. Getting anything you want. All the cars, women, you know. Uh, traveling anywhere in the world. Eating the best food. Living a life of lavish of course you'd believe, of course, major, you'd, you know, think to yourself, well, I don't think there's any God, I don't think there's any afterlife. Life is too good. <laughs> Why would there be an afterlife when life is so amazing? I'm already in heaven, right? But again, all a deception. All a deception. To get the masses to think this, the same way he does. My friends, let me get your thoughts down below. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate support on these videos. It really helps the channel out. 
Um, let's have a discussion in the comments section. Support, follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, I'll probably make a Rumble page for you know off-topic YouTube videos. That, you know, for videos that can't get on YouTube. Again, thank y'all so much for all the support. And you know, let's get to 100 subscribers, man. That's the next goal. Thank y'all again. I'll catch you in the next video.